Okay, now we've seen in the last video then how to do the cube root and how to do the fourth root on our calculator. We can literally, oops, went down too far. We can literally do any root that we want to on the calculator. So in this problem, this says do the opposite of the fifth root of negative 1024. Now we can take the fifth root of a negative number because it's an odd root. Remember, you can take odd roots of negative numbers but not even ones. So, we're going to use our calculator then to go through this. And you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and type it in as is so you can see that this can literally be done in one step. We're going to type in negative. Now remember, not the minus, but the negative. Those are two different things. So, I'm going to do that one more time. There we go, the negative. Now because this is the fifth root, we have to tell our calculator what root we're doing. Anything over three, we have to type in the index first. So the fifth root, now I'm going to go to the math button, and the number five is our any root. So now I have, this says the opposite of the fifth root of, now I'm going to go ahead and open a parenthesis since it didn't open one for me, I could do that so that I can make sure and keep all this together. Negative 1, 0, 2, 4, and then close the parenthesis. And it should give me the answer here of a positive 4. Now, let's go through, and I want to work this out um, sort of by hand also so we can make sure that we know how we would get that answer. Okay, again, I'm going to ignore the negative for just a minute. So if I rewrite this out here to the side, we're going to ignore this negative exists just for a minute. This literally says the fifth root of this number. So what do we have to raise to the fifth power to get negative 1024? Well, it would have to be a negative number raised to the fifth power in order to get a negative number. And actually it would be 4. Because 4 times 4 would be 16, times another 4 would be 64, times another 4, and times another 4. These numbers get very large very quickly. So what we have here just from this part of the problem, the fifth root of negative 1024 is negative 4. Now on the outside though, it says to do the opposite of that. So the opposite of negative 4 would actually be a 4. So this is why it's working out. Now just really quickly I want to show you something also on here. Let's say that we've forgotten about our non-real roots. Let's say that we take the square root of negative 4. We know that that can't be done, but if I type in the square root of negative 4 and then close the parentheses. This is not a real answer. So I want you to, sh to see exactly what the calculator does. It gives me an error and it says non-real answer. So that's very interesting also. And if I hit number 2, you see number 1 says quit, number 2 says go to. If I hit number 2, it's telling me there's something wrong with this um, thing that I entered because it, we just can't do that.